The Minnesota Vikings travel to Chicago to face their division rival Bears on Sunday. Chicago a three-point favorite on bet deck, 46.5 the total here. Now look, the Bears have totally come unraveled. They're three and six now. They've been embarrassed in back-to-back -back games, especially last week, behind 42 to nothing at halftime to division rival Green Bay. What else can you say? Chicago has surrendered 50 points or more in back-to-back -back games, becoming the first team since the 1923 Rochester Jeffersons to do so. And they haven't been too good on offense either. Quarterback Jay Cutler having a terrible season. Only Blake Bortles, Jacksonville's rookie quarterback, has thrown more interceptions than Cutler. Players are openly questioning each other. Media is questioning whether the players are still bought in to head coach Mark Tressman. Nobody is eager to throw money at this Chicago team right now. You know what that means. Might be time to invest. Now, I, I'm only half joking when I say that. Listen, obviously there's not much to like about what the Bears are doing right now. However, I don't think Minnesota is a very good team either. As a matter of fact, I do lean towards Chicago minus three in this game. Listen, the Vikings have a punchless offense. Rookie quarterback Teddy Bridgewater, rookie running back and Jarek McKinnon. They average fewer than 19 points per game. They've scored fewer than 20 points in four of their past five games. Yes, they have won two in a row, but those wins have come against terrible teams, Tampa Bay and Washington. You just look at the Vikings as a whole, I just don't think they have the offensive firepower to keep up here. Now, I realize I'm talking about the Chicago defense that surrendered 42 first half points to the Packers last week. But keep in mind, the Vikings are not the Packers. Teddy Bridgewater is not Aaron Rodgers. This is going to feel like there's training wheels on the game for the Chicago defense. I don't expect them to dominate the Minnesota offense, but I certainly don't expect the Minnesota offense to go up and down the field and put up 30, 35 points. And the Chicago offense certainly still has the capability to do so. I know Brandon Marshall a little dinged up right now, but Matt Forte playing at a very high level. Alshon Jeffrey, one of the better receivers in the league. Martellus Bennett, certainly. Look, I don't like Jay Cutler, so it's tough for me to say many good things about him. I don't enjoy betting on Jay Cutler, but I think this week it might be the right move. It's almost a joke to call Chicago a buy-low candidate at this point because it, that's right they're a buy-low candidate. You can't get much more buy-low than losing by 40-some-odd points to the Green Bay Packers and surrendering 50 or more in back-to-back -back games. But you know what? I think Chicago probably a good bet at home against an overmatched Minnesota team this week.